Hey, this is Dr. Todd Brennan with LTV Podiatry. So today we have uh, a couple different things that we're going to do. Again, for again educational purposes, we're going to do some nail care, uh, but also we have a, a pretty severe case of what we call lymphedema. If you watch the TV show, My Feet Are Killing Me, I think they might have had a case on there. I'm not totally sure, but um, you can kind of see. Here today. So, lymphedema, obviously the significant swelling, um, you kind of get this uh, skin coloration change, um, some wounds, um, they kind of all go hand in hand. So um, we're going to come back to that and discuss it here in a little bit. But what I'm going to do first is um, get this gentleman's nails cleaned up for him um, and then we'll talk more about the legs themselves. Okay. All right. I'm going to tilt you up a little bit, sir. All right. If anything bothers you up there, you just toller, all right? How's the overall sensation to your feet, sir? You have good feeling down here or not really? Um, more of the left feet, not so much. Not as I mean, much on the right? I mean, I can feel pain. Sure, sure. How you doing? Okay up there? Mm -hmm. Good. So obviously there's some fungus here in the toenails. That's kind of what we're clearing up. All right. Um, get these kind of cleaned up for them and then the big thing too, from a digital standpoint down here with this lymphedema, um, is obviously in between the creases of the swelling. We want to check to make sure that there's no um, breakdown of the skin, um, no open sores or anything in there, because that's when stuff can get out of hand pretty quickly. Still doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. How long have your legs been swollen like this for, would you say? Uh, probably two years. Two years. Do you currently go to wound care or no for your legs? No. No. Who's been doing the wraps? Just you? Yes, me. Just you. All right. Where have you gotten the supplies from? CVS, Walgreens, Walmart? Uh, yeah, up there at Walgreens and CVS and through Amazon. Oh, yeah. Heart might tickle a little bit, all right? You okay? Yeah, I just 
Yeah. Do we readjust? Are you okay? Yeah, I think we're here. Maybe it's starting to fall off. Uh. As the uh, lymphedema goes, visual effects. He's trying to impress you. I don't know how strong I am. <laughs> I've been working out, you know, lifting. All right. So, like I said, we check between the toes, you know, um, just to make sure the skin looks okay, uh, which it does seem to be all right, which is good. All right. So, um, the biggest thing with the lymphedema, so the lymphatic system's a, a branch of the plumbing, if you will, the body, and um, that's going to get a lot of this water retention out of there, right? Obviously, his isn't working the way it should, which is causing this significant swelling and all these skin changes. He asked a good question before I actually came on camera about um, moisturizer, right? Trying to get rid of some of this. Unfortunately, until we get the swelling down, um, it's kind of all for nothing to, to fight the actual skin changes, okay? It's not to say we can't do it, it's just for right now we want to approach the swelling first. You can kind of see with some of the swelling, let me cut, take this stuff off too so we can get a better visual, visual, visualization. Um, so you can see on a lot of these, these are called ABD pads. Um, basically, he's getting a lot of swelling and a lot of drainage due to the amount of um, swelling he's getting. All right, basically the skin's being stretched so thin that the drainage is coming through. I don't know if you can come over here please so you can see. Um, you know, again, so, some more discoloration and he's getting weeping from there, all right? So the pads are good from the standpoint of controlling some of the drainage, but as far as healing it, it's not doing much. So, you know, he's got these really fancy big old custom-made shoes, okay, which obviously are helpful for his feet. But again, we wanna try to control this. Now there's a couple different options. One is an Unaboot, which is kind of a soft cast. It's coated in calamine. It comes from about the toe level up to right above here. And what it does is he puts it on for about three to five days, sometimes up to a week. And it's really gonna help to compress and try to get the swelling out, decrease the drainage spots on his leg to heal it up, all right? Now over time, that might be something longevity-wise he has to keep doing, but if it controls the swelling, that's great, all right? They also have lymphatic pumps, which is something you put on. It's a manual pump that pumps this and pushes this fluid out, all right? Those are the couple things that you look for to try to control this. Even if we can decrease the swelling by a third, it's still better than what he's currently at, and it would help get some of these pockets to go away so they're not draining. At that point, then we can address, you know, the dry skin and then, you know, try to get on top of it. 
the skin coloration, you know, the, the hyperpigmentation here, that's never going to completely go away. That's always going to be there regardless of the swelling aspect. Um, but at least if we can try to get it under control for them, that's going to be helpful. The skin here, it's not really skin that you can pick off. I know, you know, for people from an educational standpoint that ask, the skin's not going to be picked off. It's just part of his skin. Um, so what we're going to basically do now, this leg over here looks pretty good and stable from a, a drainage standpoint, is wrap him back up. Um, I'm going to actually refer him to wound care to try to get these Una boots going um, so that we can really work on the swelling um, and see if we can get that under control for him. In the interim, we'll see him back regularly for his nail care and diabetic foot checks. Um, but overall, you know, that's kind of what's going on. So um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, I hope you kind of got a little bit of more educational stuff behind the video. Um, the, the big thing for us is try to at least instill a little bit of hope in the patients that there's something that we can do, right? Just coming in and trimming the nails and throwing them some shoes and saying, deal with it. That's not really what our goal is in the profession, right? We want to try to get him better and give him more hope moving forward that this is something we can do. All right, so um, I felt the need to kind of come back on and, and chat a little bit now that we're done with the patient, just to kind of go through stuff a little bit more. So lymphedema is kind of a more of a acute, long-lasting condition as it progresses to a chronic state. And you see this changes with the gentleman's skin. That's where you kind of cross that threshold of it being chronic lymphedema to a elephantiasis, if you will, that you uh, have probably read about, seen pictures and whatever about. Um, so that's kind of where he's at, those chronic skin changes. It's not to say some of them can improve, but nonetheless, that's kind of what it is. So the treatments are still the same. We still approach it in the sense of trying to control the swelling with wound care with Una boots, lymphatic uh, pumps, things like that. Again, if we can decrease the swelling a little bit, that's the goal. Our goal isn't just to keep them status quo. Our goal is to try everything we can to improve them. If we can't improve them, we can't say we didn't try, all right? Um, really outside of those couple things, the only other options really left are looking at amputations, which obviously significantly decreases the patient's quality of life, but also increases his risk of um, morbidity, if you will, all right? So hopefully, you know, this, this video of lymph um, edema, uh, elephantiasis kind of crossover uh, gives you a little bit more perspective and education into it. Um, and you know, hopefully down the line, the patient does get some success from the Una boots, uh, lymphatic pumps, whatever it may be. All right. So um, thank you as always for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, follow us on Instagram at Healthy Podiatry, um, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.